Houston, Texas. I am here on a trip to explore what Texas has to offer. We're starting in Houston. We're gonna be going to Dallas and Fort Worth over the next five days. I'm so excited because this is somewhere that I've always wanted to come to, especially as my dad used to live in Houston long ago when I was a kid, so I didn't get to see him much when I was growing up because he lived in Houston. He also lived in New York for a bit. But he lived in Houston making a TV show called, uh, it was something along the lines of Animal Cops USA. Imagine the RSPCA it was like their, their equivalent and it was a TV show about it. So my dad lived here and he loved Houston and he was so jealous when he found out I was coming. The journey yesterday was pretty smooth. I drove down to Heathrow in the morning, had a spot of breakfast. Flight was about nine hours, 40 minutes direct. Watched a movie, listened to some music, had loads of naps, and then we're here. Got off the plane and it the heat hit me. Very, very hot here. I'm gonna go down and meet all the others. And we have got, because we have got a very fun day indeed ahead of us. Let's go. Today is the Houston Museum District, which would you believe has many museums in the surrounding area and beautiful parks. So we're just walking around, it's very, very warm. There's a beautiful fountain here and this monument. This is Pioneer Memorial in honor of the pioneer men and women of Houston. It was dedicated August 30th, 1936. I love a cold brew. It's very rare that I can actually find one. We've got uh, an hour before we're going to the butterfly experience. I'm really excited about that. I bet it's going to be beautiful. And the places over there, I saw it, it's like a giant greenhouse. It's going to be delightful. They've got, yeah, so they've got acai bowls, there's a fruit bowl, and Andrew's got burger and fries. Andrew, is that burger and fries? Yeah, it's a chicken, hot chicken sandwich. Hot chicken sandwich and some chips. Yeah, he knows how to live. I've not got anything. I'm not hungry. What do you all that? He's bulking. It's nice. It's very pleasant in here. I like this little thing on the back. I like it. I like it a lot. incredible food market which has just got so much to choose from so I haven't had anything since breakfast so I might get myself a little taco Baja fish taco my favorite it's very loaded let's give it a whirl good. it's gonna go everywhere in it my French. Wow. This is the roof of the mall, this amazing view of downtown. Picture worthy, isn't it? Back at the hotel. Quick change. We're going to a baseball game this evening. Never, I've never watched baseball before. I've seen a basketball game in New York. I've never seen baseball. Here we are, we're at the left field, the Minute Maid Park. Can we just point out these though? Come on, look at these. 
first thing that we've done since we got here is get a beer. We took a picture and then we went straight to the bar. I've not had a beer since I've arrived. It's not my normal style. I love to get a pint when I get somewhere new. Can I buy a foam finger? Yeah, I bought a foam finger. work on the old laptop, had breakfast in bed, it was fantastic. Uh, this morning we have been to the mall. What was the mall called? Gallery. Gallery. The Galleria. It was a very, very large mall. We got a Cinnabon as well, didn't we? I haven't had mine yet. I'm going to have it right now. We got little ones. Taste test. Yeah. Well, you Taste. haven't had yours yet. No, I was waiting. Oh my God. So, next on the agenda is NASA. I thought we were going to the moon. We're not going to the moon today. Oh. That's on the way back. Oh. Yeah. Going to the moon? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We could sneak into a spaceship. It was actually quite difficult to find on the map because lots of places have called their businesses like NASA, NASA Nails, NASA Bakery, NASA Butchers, NASA Accounting Services. <laughs> I was like, which, mm. what is it? <laughs> I just want the space center. Uh, that's where we're going, and that's the plan. What do people say in space when they're signing out? Is it literally just signing out? NASA, Houston, I'm signing. Houston, I'm signing. Houston, I'm signing out. <laughs> That is pretty cool. Space Centre! Well done for driving us. It's alright. Did you have a sleep? Well, I was lying down. Thought it was quiet. <laughs> My God! That is so cool. Going big rocket room. Big rocket room. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Big rocket room. Jesus Christ. Whoa, What's this? I'm not gonna lie, I thought a guy was serving beer out of that hatch. <laughs> I got a little bit excited. So there's a wall and ask you, what would you bring into space? Someone said their girlfriend. My iPad so I can watch YouTube. Starbucks, that's me. The Wicked soundtrack. <laughs> Butter and cheese. Mac and cheese. My cat and snacks, and that is me. Okay, oh, it's raining, there's severe weather warnings. We've been kicked out well, not been kicked out, but tour was cut short. All the people have been giving us advice to leave if we're gonna drive all the way to Dallas now. Oh, shit. Go, go, go! Very tight. 
turn the windscreen wipers on. Oh, they're on this little side knob. Burger, which was a recommendation from a man, no, actually the security guard at the, the game yesterday. Uh, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, are you sure you have enough? I don't know. We we'll go a bit more. We'll go a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> She's really tickled by my cup. It's like too litter. <laughs> Is it good? I've got a chicken burger. Oh, look at that. it to Dallas and we are at the hotel this is the room very nice it's a, a double double very cool very cool whoa oh. so that is me signing out for the day I'm so tired I'm gonna have to wash my face I might have a bath actually yeah bath You got the mango, didn't you? Yeah, mango go go. Mango go go. But it's a beautiful park. There's loads of people. There's loads of food trucks. There's fountains. There's there's sculptures. It's right within the art and mu like museum district. So we're just surrounded by culture and wonderful things. So that's the beginning of our day. Let's go. It's owned by an oil and gas company and um, they do loads of cool stuff here. They put on firework displays, you can have a party here. Apparently it's only $500 to hire out this deck for a party and I was like, what are we doing guys? But it's amazing because you have the most amazing view of Dallas. We've just had a tour, she, she showed us around the whole upper deck and pointed out landmarks. Um, it's very, very high and quite windy, but it's definitely something to do if you're ever in the area, come up here. It's amazing. The next stop on our magical mystery tour of Dallas is the Arts District. from me in Dallas. I've got up this morning. I woke up very early. This jet lag, it's gonna take me forever to get over. But I woke up early, 
loads in bed for ages and um, I've decided that I don't want another hotel breakfast so I'm going to walk into downtown and find breakfast for myself as part of one of the things I love about travel is food. I found a place called Commissionary on Google Maps slash Instagram. Gonna give it a go. And there's also a giant eyeball which I want to look at. Oh, across the road here as well. Sidewalk. About a place called Commissionary. And um, it's basically just like a sandwich place, which is my kind of place, to be honest. And pastries. I have a cold brew with oat milk and a double espresso. <laughs> I, I kind of didn't know what I, I wanted both. I wanted hot and cold coffee, but predominantly cold, so that's why I've gone for the espresso. Ticks the box. Mm -hmm. So I saw on Google Maps the giant eye. I was like, what? They weren't lying. It's huge. Wow. I'm back at the hotel. It's huge. We were in a place this morning called Deep and um, it's very cool. Party, lots of murals, shops and bars. I'm just walking around, having a look. Looks like a bar. Is it too early for a beer? Maybe. We're all gassed up. 7 Eleven. Okay. What's that? You've got a Milky Way bar and yeah, some, some gum. Some chewies. Do we know exactly where we're going in Fort Worth? Should we go to the hotel? That might be nice. Kimper Harper Hotel. Kimpton, sorry. Kimpton Harper Hotel. Yeah. Start. Let's go. Get it. Oh, only 35 minutes. Okay. We made it to our hotel. The view out the window is awesome. There is a silver cowboy hat right down there. And I need to go find it. I'll just look through these binoculars. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Very cool. And here is my room. I think this is my favorite room in terms of room. Like, love the vibe of this room. Ah. View, it's okay. It's a nice color building down there. Um, love that light. And this, what's the bathroom like? Oh. Oh, cute. I can't see anything. Oh, we need to put a root thingy. But there's a shower. Oh, it's very cute. <laughs> so in Fort Worth, there is a place called Stockyards. And from our hotel, it was about a 10 minute drive. But it's oh proper That's country cowboy. There's like cowboy boot shops, hat, like cowboy hat shops. But there's the cows, the actual cows. Oh, we got here just in time. So we've now come to a place called Billy Bob's. It's apparently the world's biggest honky tonk. I'm so excited.
morning from Fort Worth. Me and a couple of troops, a few troops. There's Mimi, Laura and Andrew. We're coming out for some breakfast. It's our, oh, it's our last day, full day here in Texas. So I was like, let's make the most of it, guys. So we are going to breakfast. I found a place called Yoke, which looks, oh, it's across the road. Over here, guys, over here. It looks great. I have got cinnamon French toast, cinnamon bun French toast, and avocado toast. I feel like it doesn't do it justice, this video. And then she's got very berry French toast. Andrew went for omelette, he's got grits and a pancake. Why are you even taking them? in our Texan road trip is the Fort Worth Botanical Gardens which if you're from the UK it's kind of like Q you know it's that kind of vibe it's beautiful it's landscaped with all these wonderful sculptures and different areas based on what kind of area of the world it's going to be replicating so we're currently in a traditional or native Texan uh, foliage trees and plants native to Texas there is a Japanese garden around the corner which is also very very popular and it's well known for so we will go and look at that as well we had a beautiful walk around the botanical gardens really gorgeous wasn't it beautiful place amazing amazing place we've come for some lunch now at the woodshed smokehouse and there's a lot of wood <laughs> there's a lot of wood a lot of wood thank you so these are sprouts that have been I like smoke. the bark. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So good. It's amazing. Oh my god. It tastes a little bit vinegary. Mm. Yeah. There's a little like. Oh, wow. So mm. That was your craving. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Someone's having a food orgasm. Mmm. <laughs> 